What's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Today in this episode we have myself and we have my best buddy Brandon. And today you can maybe tell from the title below, I'm not 100% sure yet, but me and Brandon are going to be setting some tip-ups today on Mille Lacs Lake. The current time is 8.16. It's pretty early. The sun just poked up about a half an hour ago. So it's pretty much prime time here on Mille Lacs Lake right now. But honestly, if I'm being honest, I feel like like prime time on the lax is just all day it, all day once it's dark they don't really bite much but in the daytime they're biting so cross your fingers hopefully we can get some really good walleyes today we actually already have the tip-ups already set up but in this video I'm actually gonna demonstrate to you guys how to set an iFish Pro tip up just because a lot of you guys have been commenting wondering what it is and uh, how you set it but the tip up does have to have a fish on it so once we catch a fish on a tip up then I'll show you guys how to how how to set the tip up and I'm also maybe even going to show you guys uh, how to do some mapping stuff later so yeah stay tuned guys cross your fingers that we get some tip ups real soon tip up first tip up of the day first tip up of the day oh it's there oh yeah he's talking you go ahead set the hook I'll grab the tip up for you teamwork makes the dream work oh my god what the hell was that I don't know you tell me what that was Brandon's not happy with that first tip up of the day, I don't think. Look so it. man, <laughs> so man. Well, there we go, folks. Kicked off the first tip up of the day. There's gonna be plenty more, I hope, throughout the day, so don't get discouraged, Brandon. We're gonna get them. Tip up, tip up, tip up! We've got a tip up, folks. Holy buckets, it's bright out here. I'm just gonna set this down right here. See if we got a fish on the other end. Yes, we do. We got a fish on the other end. Not gonna lie, it feels pretty freaking good. It is a different rod than I'm used to, but this might be a really good fish. Oh yeah, it's just an average actually. Oh man, my leader's pretty far. This might be an eater. Oh man, come here. Come here. This might be an eater. Look at that. Nice walleye. It's cold. I'm going to take him in the house really quick. And uh, let's get him on the tape measure. 21 and a quarter. We're good, guys. 21 and a quarter inch walleye. This is the, the most perfect eater on the lax right now. And me and Brandon are starving. We're actually going to cook this thing up for breakfast. I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to film, but yeah, we're going to chop this thing up and eat it. All right, guys, before I chop up that walleye, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up an iFish Pro tip up. Okay, so first off, I like to have the tip up off to the side a little bit with my rod in the little in the little rod holder part of the tip up. And then, as you can see, we got a little sucker minnow there to three little split shot weights. And then, and we also got a fluorocarbon leader on there. I think we got a 10 pound floral leader. And then we got a double uni knot to braid right here. And then this is your little your little indicator. I'll show you how this works in just a sec. So all I'm gonna do now is flip this bail and I'm going to grab this little indicator with this hand. And I'm just gonna kind of pull that line through the little indicator. And I'm gonna do that until I run into this little thing right here. This is a bobber stop. Uh, you use this for like bobber fishing and stuff. Something that makes your bobber go under. And uh, this is the main key in this whole iFish Pro tip up. So all I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put this line through this little slit right here. Put, put the iFish Pro over the hole. Then I'm gonna grab this little piece of the iFish Pro and uh, I'm just gonna set that there, the little, the little, the little indicator. Just gonna set that there, flip the flag down, and put that just like that, leave your bail open, and then when a fish takes it, it's gonna pull the line, and bam, you can go grab your rod and set the hook. All right guys, this is gonna be bomb. Let's cook this walleye. Hopefully we'll have another flag pop up in the meantime.
Maya. Maya's here. If you don't know Maya, that's Nick's brother. He all know Nick. Scale of one to ten. Hot. Okay. <laughs> so hot. You probably don't want any of this, huh? You don't like walleye. Not this morning. It's not breakfast food. I'm gonna eat it all. Dude, it's like a chip. That's what people say. Take a bite of that. It's a little weird. Dude, I promise. It's, I, it's, it's just the perfect fin. Yeah. Dude. Old Dutch potato. <laughs> Dude. It's not bad. It's not bad. So last video I had a viewer tell me that the best part is actually the fin on the walleye wing. And I wasn't sure if he was like joking and just kind of trying to get me to eat one, but it's really good. But it tastes like a potato chip. If you guys haven't tried that, I highly recommend it. All right guys, the bite's been a little bit slow, so me and Brandon decided to uh, pull one of our dead sticks inside the house and we're actually gonna set up another iFish Pro tip up, just so we can kind of get them nice and spread out so that they're just, you know, not in the house with us. But, and we're also, you know, we're in there cooking, making noise, so odds are uh, we're probably gonna be more lucky getting fish on the iFish Pros today. But to set up these tip ups, I'm not gonna be lugging around my big ol' Helix 7 graph today. I'm going to instead be using my Fish Smart app by Hummingbird. It is literally the same exact mapping I have in my five, my Helix five and my Helix seven. And this is actually like even, it's even crazier. It's like really on point. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but it's just super, super accurate. And it's, you know, I can carry my phone instead of my, my big graph. So let's grab the auger. I already got the chassis strapped on. I'm gonna probably leave this behind. Let's go drill a hole and set up another iFish Pro tip up. So as you guys can hopefully see, uh, this little boat, that's me. Look at this guys, look how spot on that is. I'm moving back and forth and that little boat is me and it's tracking perfect. But anyways, as you can see, I got the flat, uh, I got the depth highlighting on on the app. Like I said before, it's just like the, it's it's literally the same as the Helix mapping. So I got the highlight set for uh, 20, looks like 24 feet. So if you got it set at 24 feet, as you can see, you can see all the flats on the lax. So it just makes it really, really easy and simple. Usually there's like a spot on the spot why, why we're fishing this spot here. But honestly, this flat is pretty much the same all the way around it. There's really no different like depth changes or anything. It's pretty well just kind of steep all the way around. Pretty much the only reason we're here is just because we're kind of trying to stay away from people. Seems like that's kind of the key lately on the lax is just kind of veer away from people and you'll catch fish. But anyways, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in the fish house. Let's uh, put this away. This is where I'm going to put this hole right in uh, it looks like 24 feet and I will see you guys back in the fish house in just a little bit. Tip up! Tip up! Christian's oh. first tip up. Let's go for us. She's taking line too. Bob. Christian's first tip up. All okay right, so, so grab the rod. No 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 just line. grab the rod. You gotta do that. Yep. Just Brennan you grab it after you okay, start reeling fast. Oh What's that? You missed him. I think he pulled the... Hey, that's good pulled though. We just switched the minnows yeah, to shiners, did. boys. Like, not within five minutes ago. I think there's still a minnow in there. This is good. That's a good sign, guys. Off camera, we, me and Brandon just went and we put two shiners down on the tip-ups. And then we have one sucker out there. Hugh showed it to Maya. None of us were really getting bites. And then Maya switched. Uh, Maya's Nick's brother. He was here earlier, I think. I don't know if he's on camera for sure. You guys can't really see him there. But Maya pretty much uh, got him dialed for us, so... The shiners, I think, are going to be the trick tonight. All right, guys, I was getting kind of bored sitting around in the in the big bite fish house, so I decided after I after I set up that iFish Pro tip up, I actually drilled a few more holes, and it's really nice out. It is a little bit windy, but I decided I'm going to uh, do some hole hopping just for a little bit, see if I can't catch myself some walleyes out here. Oh my god. Is this a fish? 
Yeah. Oh my god, no. No. Please come back. Yes, it's coming back. It's a good walleye. Oh my god, no way. No way. There's two walleyes. There's another one. There's another one. No way, dude. I just missed two in a row. I just missed the same fish twice. He's coming back. It's a, it might be a different one. Got him. Ah! What the frick? Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Three fish in a row? Here's another one. Another fish. Another fish. Got him. Oh my god, guys. That was four fish in a row. I was marking two or three of them at once. Unreal. Unreal. That first one freaking felt scary big. This is a decent one too, but it's not like crazy or nothing. That first one felt really scary. Okay, decent walleye. I'm gonna get him unhooked really quick. Get back down there. These flags should be popping up soon. It's been really slow. All right, guys, we got a light on our tip up out here and it just popped. It just got like fully dark. Uh, it's just me and Maya right now, so he's gonna hold the light and help me film. All right, get this iFish Pro out of the way. Check the drag. Let's hit him. Got him. Feeling like another decent walleye. Definitely feeling like a little bit better walleye. Nothing crazy, I don't think. Could even be a eater. No, just a just a decent mid-sized little walleye. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. All right, I tell you what, it is freezing. We're gonna get this guy right to the fish house and get him unhooked with the pliers. All right, guys, we got this little guy unhooked. Definitely a little bit too small to be a keeper, but let's go ahead and get the release on this guy. And uh, we're gonna go get that tip up set back up. Hopefully, hopefully, cross your fingers, get some more. Welcome back, guys. The current time is 7.18 p.m. and the day kind of did not go the way we uh, expected it to go. Really, really, really slow day on the ice today, that's for sure. But we did get a few walleyes, so that's awesome. Unfortunately, we couldn't get uh, Christian Brandon's cousin a walleye. That would have been really cool. Well, we actually, he did get a walleye, but he didn't get one on the tip up. But anyways, really quick, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the Hummingbird app I was using earlier in this video. I really hope that the footage came up uh, nice and clear when I was giving my little demonstration on the app. But uh, yeah, it is a really cool app. So it is a little bit different than other mapping apps out there. This app, you actually download individual lakes. Uh, you're not like getting a whole state like most apps but the really cool thing about buying individual lakes is that the maps are like HD maps like they are in my opinion they are probably the best maps out there I'm not really sure about other lakes but I know that the Mille Lacs Lake map I think it's $30 which it, once again in my opinion I think it is totally worth it because oh what's going on here just because uh, it's just so in-depth and if you guys are familiar with a uh, hummingbird helix or just hummingbird map in general it's it's the same exact map as on my helix 7. Anyways, the app's perfect for running and gunning, perfect for, you know, studying maps at home. Usually when I'm trying to study maps, oh I am marking a fish right now. Usually when I'm studying maps at home it's kind of hard to to pick up signal and if I'm being honest I'd just rather look at my phone. Also, if you have a Gen 2 or Gen 3 Helix, you can actually uh, you can actually send maps to your unit uh, using Bluetooth. So that's really cool. Oh my God, I'm about to get hammered. I am about to get hammered. Anyways, guys, you should definitely check out the Hummingbird app. You won't be pissed. I'm I'm in love with it right now. Definitely making my life a lot easier. If you guys could, like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button. Brandon, my buddy over there, he has a YouTube channel also. You should go check him out. Another big shout out to Bro Fishing. Huge shout out to Hummingbird. The biggest shout out to Big Bite Fish Houses. And I guess all that's left to say is you guys gotta start fishing more. We will see you next time.